Connecticut public seems to favor is unnecessary and it's going to bankrupt the country. I can't believe that you're really that cordial about these public statements that he's making that he's going to stand in the way. He's going to be the 59th vote. Well, there, there, are lo there are a lot of yes. other senators who I deal with every day who have a similar point of view. And, uh, and we have to deal with that. That's about the business we're in, trying to reconcile those differences. And, uh, and Joe's no different than a lot of other senators who hold similar views. Well, how do you reconcile that? I mean, that's, he seems to be really setting his feet. Well, I, I'll, let you, I'll let Joe speak for himself. He doesn't need me to be to, to try and explain why he's taking the position. I've listened to his arguments. I have a different point of view. I think that, again, the public option offers us, in the particularly in the area of reforming the health insurance issue uh, and having an impact on health reform of health care. He says that you, that you represent a group of people who are in favor of taking government control of the health care industry, no. that we don't need this and it's going to bankrupt the country. No. What's your response to that? Just in, 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 in formal debate, what would you say? Well, that it's not. In fact, we're talking about a variety of public options, including cooperatives, nonprofits, uh, Medicare, Medicaid, veterans health care, all public options. Uh, this is not something new ground for us as a country. Uh, that around for a long time. In fact, the country's healthier and better off today because of those, quote, public options. Now, what we're talking about here may be substantially different in terms of how, how, how it's run, where it's run, giving states options to either opt in or opt out, depending on what the outcome of this legislative uh, debate will have. But I believe that what can be done to increase the choices for people, and that's uh, an issue we talked again of this here this morning about, increasing the number of choices people have, particularly in the area of insurance, will have the greatest downward impact on rising costs and people can actually shop for policies. And in many places in our country today, you're given one option or two. That's not in isolated cases. That is in many states where that's all you have is one or two options. And as a result, you saw what happened here in our state of Connecticut, where the 30 percent increase was sought by Anthem, settled on a 20 percent increase. We're watching health care premiums rise five times faster than wages. We spend three times more than our major global competitors economically on health care. Uh, we're looking at premium costs jumping, premium costs, health insurance premium costs, jumping from 12000 for a family of four, $12,000 for a family of four, in the next seven years to $24,000 for a family of four in Connecticut. Now, we cannot tolerate that. You cannot go from 17% of your gross domestic product to close to 35% as quickly as we may uh, here and not expect major, major economic uh, uh, problems ensuing as a result of that. So I clearly believe one of the ways to do that is to have a public option on insurance so you can drive down those costs. Now others have a different point of view, and uh, I can respect the fact they have that point of view, but I think they're wrong. Do you think it can be reconciled? He's not the only Democrat that's raised issues about public options. Uh, others have as well. Senator, in the health care bill in the Senate, uh, is the plan to go to a seed to what the House did as far as how abortion is paid for? And what do you think of what the House did on that subject? Well, I appreciate the fact Nancy Pelosi had to weave together a bill to get the numbers out. And uh, the Senate's, uh, I talked over the weekend to people who were involved in those negotiations. And when we get to that point, we'll sit down and see if we can't come to some accommodation. I'm not going to predict, nor could I predict, what the outcome of that, of that negotiation would be. Uh, but certainly there'll be one on that issue, no question about it. What do you think <laughs> what they did? Well, I understand why they did what they did, and I can't, I don't, I can't disagree. If the option was losing health care altogether over that, then I think Nancy Pelosi did the right thing.